Well, I reckon it's time to take some of this stinky, stinky anaerobic compost tea water and water my pumpkins. First, I gotta get the cantaloupes out that are growing into the barrel. They love it. And to all the kids watching right now, no matter what your friends say, socks and sandals together, particularly tube socks, while you're wearing shorts, is cool. I mean, we're talking like seriously cool, like trend-setting cool. People are gonna catch on. They will, just wait. These guys here are really overcrowded. So I'm gonna take a few of them out. I hate doing this, because you never know what you're gonna get. But I'm gonna take some of these out of here. Ah, we got pickle worms boring into some of them. This is not good. Sometimes nature does it for you. Wow, that one got drilled right at the bottom. Not good. Give these guys a little space. They should do better. Spread them out a little. Yeah, that'll do it. I guess we'll see what happens with the pumpkins. It's been a long time that, uh, you know, I've been kind of incapacitated, not going up and back to them. But uh, they ought to do fine. Rain has really dropped off a lot, so that's not good. They're not quite as running as fast as they should be. It's been a little bit dry this rainy season. Don't know if we're gonna get any big enough to uh, make carriages out of, but I already got the girl with the pretty slippers, so I think I might just quit gardening and sit around. The tropics do that to a man. It's fruit on the trees. There's always manana. I don't even know why I'm making this video. Could have done this tomorrow too. That compost tea works really well on a lot of stuff. Pumpkins seem to like it. A lot of things seem to like it. Corn loves it because it's very high in nitrogen. It's not a proper compost tea because it's not bred for the bacteria. What it is bred for, well, bred for is the wrong word. What it's designed for is a wide range of nutrients breaking down in there from a wide range of sources. Everything from fish guts to urine, manure, moringa leaves, and so you end up with a lot of nutrition in that compost tea, but it's not the kind of compost tea you're making in order to get a specific mix of bacteria. What I'm looking for is a specific mix of nutrition, and then I give that to my plants. So, it's not really like true compost tea. Some people drink a 40, some people pop pills. Me, I get my thrill from feeding all my pumpkin hills. I don't know where that came from. Just. Have a good day. Don't let your children grow up to be cowboys. Until next time, be sure to like, subscribe, and catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. And until then, may your thumbs always be green.
found a guava. I might not get pumpkins, but I have guavas.